Hi guys, Poundland today. Picked up a couple of these wooden uh, boxes, trays, herb garden from their gardening section. Looks like they're made from plywood. So I thought I might actually seal the edges on one of them and varnish it and make a boat with it. The other one, which is identical, I shall drill a couple of holes in it, or four holes, four axles to go through, and we'll have a rubber band powered car for a change. Oops, got too much junk on the desk. Okay, so that's X marks the spot where we're going to drill the holes. You could just push holes through with a pointy stick if you've got enough strength, but I'll use an electric drill. Right, what we're going to use for an axle. I've got my steel rods. If I use them, I'll have to drill the holes a bit bigger. Yep, that should do. I could use this bamboo stick for one of the axles. This is what the um, propeller came on on the previous uh, build. That thing. So that'd be handy to make use of that bit of stick. But it's a bit bendy so it might bend when you put the rubber band on it. So I'll use the metal axle for the back axle because that won't bend when we put the rubber band on it. And we'll use that one for the front axle. CDs for wheels uh, and so on. Uh, I've glued that garden windmill thing back on the back of it. Uh, just because I wanted to use it. So let's see if it works. Yeah, didn't actually get that spinning, but it wasn't going fast enough for that. Okay, that'll do. Whoops. <laughs> Went out into the garden.
Yeah, that'll do. That works. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a garden or a herb garden planter box from Poundland, made from plywood. Nice little box. I've drilled some holes in it for the axles to go through. Used some CDs for wheels with plastic bottle tops for the hubs. Uh, the front ones are hot glued in place. The back ones are held in place with sticky tape. Uh, got some plastic drinking straws to space the wheels away from the bodywork to stop the friction. Uh, got a bit of decoration there, a garden windmill, which doesn't spin very well because it's just not moving fast enough to do that. And then got a rubber band just attached to the handle or the handhold there, which we just wrap straight around. So we can do this with one hand to demonstrate. Over the top and then so it catches itself in place. Oh thank you. Oh, that's a military one. Sorry, couldn't keep that very steady. Right, back to where we were. Oh, wind's blowing the windmill. Right, I was just trying to demonstrate wrapping the rubber band round the back axle. You put it over and turn the axle so the rubber band goes over itself. That holds it in place while you wind it up. It's important that the rubber band comes off when it's got to the end so that the wheels can freewheel. If you tie it on there, then it will actually stop the car and you don't get the benefit of the freewheeling. So it must come off. Uh, I think that's it. Unusual to look at.